What's up, y'all? Cut that down. All the way. All the way. Good words in that look. You see, boys? Just feed my axolotls. Y'all recently saw when I first got them from the Reptile Expo. A couple of them still hiding in the bush. That's what I call that little spot right there. Y'all basically know how the tank looked up. Look already. I added a bunch of new plants though. Like basically all them plants up in there they new. Some of those over there, the, the taller ones and that one big one. All the way in the back back down though. If y'all see it right there. And all of these, uh, you know, and pads on the top. That's the same Lee's Killies. They ain't no different. And they actually don't um pick on the axolotls, girls. For anybody who out there wondering, no, they don't. They really don't mess with them at all. Um, that's the albino pleco. Started out with two. The smaller one passed away. And then here uh, somewhere is a bristle. It's a... um. A bristle nose plate on. The smaller one died of that one too. I had two of those too. I'm feeding the um the least killer soil at the same time while I feed the axes. That way they don't, you know, interfere with each other or you know, just um aggravate each other while they eating. I'm gonna try to find this um Bristle news for y'all while y'all watch them. Eat for a second. Oh, oh no, there you go right there. I'm trying to see if the melanoids are. Well, you can see the melanoid right there. One melanoid. Two melanoid. Um, we got. That's full so far. I don't know if y'all can see them. Oh, that's the, um, focus, 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 all right, that's the wild right there, I think, yeah, that's the wild, and if you can see it right there, all right, you can see it better from right here. I think she's a girl anyway. Gosh, she needs to move. All right, though. That's the other golden. That golden has an awesome appetite. And that was my first time ever seeing a Lucy eat, too. So, yeah, I'm just trying to see if everybody going to eat. I've been having them for three days now. You know? Everybody just likes to hide in a bush. It was actually... A hiding spot for the, um, least Killies fries, you know, or whatever, but, like, 20 minutes to 30 minutes after I put them in there, that's the only spot they wanted to be was in a bush. So, like, yeah, I just, like, um, separated the bush a little bit, that way they could walk around in between the plants without being all cramped up enough for room to move and stuff like that so nothing so it won't be a problem looks like one of the melanoids gonna come out now I'm not sure if he gonna come all the way out or he just gonna eat that worm right down but yeah he might just eat that blood worm yeah, how you feeling if he's feeling like his amigo right here and just picking out uh he feels like and being timid and conservative and just staying right down. I saw the other one turn around too, it seemed like he finna come out here. Yeah, he finna come out there too. Y'all can see him moving. Oh there they come. I guess he moving together. Let's be talking to each other. Yeah, man, I ain't going out there to you come. Well, I ain't going to you go. Well, come on, let's go now.
They so cute though, man. I really like the melanoids. Oh, they just turned around, both of them. I hope I didn't spook them. The bushes. Like, I like the bush. I ain't gonna change the bush at all. Not even for water changes. I might take all these plants out and replant them. Because y'all can't see, but to me, they just look kind of rabbish. Oh, that's the bristle nose plate right there. Finally, y'all got to say it took five minutes and 40 seconds, but anyway, it's a stubborn plate too. Y'all know they have a stubborn attitude, though. That's just them. But the um, albino, like, he was never shy uh, or, or anything. Like, he was just always out in the open to be seen, you know. Didn't hide, didn't scurry, don't scurry away or nothing like that. Like the bristle nose, like the bristle nose do, you know. And as y'all can see, it's been like five minutes to, um... These killies really don't bother the axolotls at all. And all of these killies, um, 93% of them grown up in here. I have about six babies or whatever. Um, yeah, but, um, oh, he's mad. I have about six babies, six to ten babies you see just swimming around at any given time up here. Um, yeah, you know the axolotls, they pretty much, you know, new to. But everybody seems to get along except last night. One of the melanoids there eat a male Achilles fish, which that's kind of what they in here for. I'm just um, waiting until they get... You know, kind of overpopulated. That way they always going to be like right there for the axolotls. Because, you know, axolotls not that fast. But if I ever see them start to pick at the axolotls, girls, oh, uh, yeah, you know, all of them come.